All right, here with NBC's Melissa Stark ahead of uh, tonight's game against the Giants here at the NBC paddock. And you know, you're preparing all weather. Yes. You're on the sideline tonight yeah. as you typically are. Thank you for taking the time to join us. It's great to see you. And uh, yeah, I've got the umbrella. I need the umbrella. <laughs> I needed boots. I mean, who knows? It's, I guess it's Buffalo football weather. Right, it's October yeah. in Western New York. All right, so let's get to it. Bill's over in London. Last week, very uncharacteristic, some travel lag maybe. Your take on maybe where this team is at at three and two. Well, I think, you know, London, I don't know if you throw out the London games because you just don't know how teams are going to respond. And you're playing a team that's used to playing in London and stayed there for a couple of weeks. Um, I think this team's in a good spot. It's early on. Uh, and, you know, in talking to Josh Allen, uh, he has an interesting perspective. So we do these production meetings, you know, sure. with the team. And Josh said he is trying to play with a low positive energy. He's trying not to be too manic, too excited. He didn't want to show a lot of smiles, show a lot of emotion on the sideline. He feels like he plays better when he is in the zone, what he calls it, and uh, that he plays a little erratic when he's not. So uh, I guess look for that tonight. That's an interesting take. I mean, you go back to the opener against the Jets, the four turnovers yeah. in that game, and him needing to kind of dial it back, be smarter when he runs the football, that type of a thing. Going against a familiar foe yeah. and former offensive coordinator Brian Dayball, who's yeah. now the head coach of the New York Giants. Tyrod Taylor, by the way, also uh, with Daniel Jones injured, getting the start, former Bills quarterback. So there's a lot of subplot here. There is. There's a lot of history. And Dave's, you know, he talks about how much you know, he's been around some good quarterbacks. Josh Allen is an awesome quarterback. And so I think he you know, he didn't want to say it, but you know, you, you, you don't sometimes appreciate what you have when you have it. Uh, but they have a terrific relationship. And then Tyrod Taylor, I mean, for him, he called this a full circle moment. You know, he's coming back to where he got his first ever NFL start. He ended, helped end the 17 year playoff drought uh, with helping them go to the playoffs in 2017. So he said he got a lot of texts, a lot of calls this week, and he's excited. Um, it's a phenomenal opportunity for him. Right, and a lot of stories for you to tell yeah, tonight on exactly. the broadcast. Thank you so Good much, Melissa you. Stark. Thanks. All right, Sunday Night Football, NBC, 820 kickoff. Our coverage continues here on Channel 2. Let's send it back into you.